Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So what we've got here is an item in the British Museum um, that very clearly combines the aspects of a sword with a pole axe or a war hammer. So looking along it we've got a pommel, a grip, a cross guard and then it turns into an iron shaft with a pole axe head or hammer, war hammer head um, with the lateral spikes on the side just as you find on a normal war hammer. The shaft is octagonal and you can see here that we have a sort of hook for wearing the item on a belt. This is important to note because you might think that this is the sort of object that might be to do with judicial duels or um, these kind of trials by combat or something like that but the fact that it has uh, a hook on it for wearing makes that very unlikely. It seems that this was something that was carried around. Looking at the grip you can see it's got a wood either side of the tang with uh, bound with what appears to be some kind of fabric and then leather and there's some cord over the top whether that cord is original to it or um, a later um, repair is difficult to tell. Looking at the coat of arms gives the date that the British Museum have given this object which is of the British Commonwealth in the 17th century. I feel confident in saying that this is not a 17th century object. As far as I'm concerned this is a 15th century object and I base that opinion on the shape of the pole, pole axe head itself, the shape of the cross guard quillons and also the pommel and the general look of the item. To me this is a, a 15th or possibly 16th century object, it's not a 17th century object. I'd be very surprised if there was a conclusive way of proving that this is 17th century. What's important to note is this might seem like a freak, bizarre, unusual object. Um, however, it's actually not. There are other parallels for it. We see um, so-called sword axes in both Fiore and Vardy's treatises. And we also see uh, an item which is somewhat similar, in other words, combining the qualities of a poleaxe and a two-handed sword, in the manuscript known as Cotton Faustina from the early 15th century. Thanks, guys.